What the fuck is going down, everybody? It's your boy Sauce Man X. Back at you niggas with another goddamn video today. But you know, I'm think I, I want to do a fucking lyric by lyric analysis. So I already made like two videos about the whole Eminem thing, but I just wanted to touch upon this shit a little bit more for you motherfuckers. So I'm going to make a reaction to every single lyric because a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, because a lot of people don't even watch my shit anymore because I got my channel terminated. But you know, a lot of, I mean, there's some people talking shit in the comment section, and I'm pretty sure if I promote this in the comment section, the comment section that I be on, everybody will be criticizing me because I'm criticizing Donald Trump or I'm on Eminem's side, I'm criticizing Trump, and I do still agree that he destroyed the fuck out of Donald Trump. And also considering the fact that you can actually, you know, do video, um, you can actually, like, people, other people are making reactions and they're actually using the video footage. So I thought if I use my face right here and then, you know, cut the screen off because I don't have any of those editing tools or some shit where you can put it, like, all the way in the bottom, I don't know, download something on a computer, I don't have fucking time to do that shit. But, you know, t considering that you can... <clears throat> actually use video footage, I thought I would do a lyric by lyric analysis and what I'm gonna do is I got the phone right here and I'm gonna react to it while I'm looking at the goddamn phone but that's not what you're gonna see on your screen because what the fuck is the point of that shit nigga like you can easily just fucking edit and use the fucking screen for this shit so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to react the lyric by lyric fucking analysis and, you know, express my opinions and you know, express on it necessarily because I don't necessarily agree with what Eminem, you know, says Every little bar that he says, but I said it in my last video, at the point, the, the reason why he did this shit is to create controversy, because that's the biggest, that's what he does best, you know what I'm saying, that's what he does best. So I'm going to do a lyric by lyric analysis, hopefully this shit will get a lot of motherfucking views, so let's get started with the first motherfucking Part. Oh yeah, my nigga, another fucking disclaimer, I'm gonna be wearing headphones during the goddamn shit because there's no way I can actually, you know, give you, like, my straight up fucking lyrical, uh, breakdown or some shit like that. If it's like, you know, you know, the fucking volume's all the way at max and, you know, all that fucking bullshit, volume's all the way at max and I already have the video edited on the side. So, I'm just gonna listen to it on headphones, so you motherfuckers, you wearing headphones or not, you're gonna fucking hear this shit with, um, without headphones or whatever the fuck you want. But you're gonna be able to hear this shit, so I'm not gonna have, like, two fucking videos showing up out of goddamn nowhere. So, anyway. I'm gonna get started with this fucking shit. Lyric by the lyric the analysis. Storm right here. Wait, how was I gonna start this off? I forgot. Oh yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, but that's all I got till I come up with a solid. So this motherfucker starts off like, <clears throat> like kind of corny as hell. Cause as I said, like in the 19 minute video that I made, I was like, damn, like nigga, like you're fucking like, like the the very first when he started, I thought it was gonna be some more bullshit from like 2014 or some shit like that. But you know, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't really a big fan of like the first 30 seconds. But when it got, you know, further in, it got a lot more better. You know what I'm saying? But I'm actually here to like, you know, refute points that he's saying or some shit. They just fucking got cut a plan off. and now I got a hatchet like a damn Apache with a tomahawk. I'm a walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer that every time talks. She gets the a mouth. What is this nigga ah. talking about? Well, uh, on that point, uh, I think I think here's the thing about Eminem. Like you don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't fucking like like sometimes he just says random shit that rhymes. So I don't I don't I don't know what the fuck like saying some random fucking shit cuz you know in the last few goddamn years Eminem has always been known for going off topic a lot when he's doing all these fucking random ass freestyles. So we just talk about Apache. This is a nice fucking rhyme. I'm gonna stop. Fuck? Okay. So this is what he but fucking we better stopped. give Obama fuck? props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around till the bombing stops. See, nigga, if 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 you listen to that fucking shit and you don't actually think that he's being sarcastic. I don't know what to fucking say about you. Okay, well, first thing I disagree with Eminem on is that he's over here talking about, oh, we gotta give Obama props. Obama props for what? Like, what the fuck? What, 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 what did Obama do as president? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's one thing I never understood about Eminem. Like, why the fuck are you supporting Obama back ever since, like, 2009, supporting Obama as president, even though he didn't do a damn thing in office, but now you want to talk shit about Donald Trump? You're gonna talk shit about Trump, talk shit about Obama. 
You know, that nigga was a terrible president, and he just says, gives Obama props. They didn't even, you know, make a fucking reasoning for it, and he just had an amazing fucking rhyme scheme causing controversy. But of course he wasn't talking about, oh, we probably, I don't think anybody thinks Trump's going to cause a nuclear holocaust, okay? He just saying that shit for shock value. So, again, if you take this nigga seriously, if you take, like, um... Everything he says literally, you don't know shit about Eminem. Because Eminem said numerous times, don't take his shit literally. He's just saying it for the rhyme and the controversy. Intensity's heightened. Tensions are rising. Trump, when it comes to giving a shit, you're stingy as I am. See, this, this is the facts right here. This is the fucking facts. Against me, you hide him. And Eminem was 100% correct because... Donald Trump has not said a single fucking thing yet. This nigga has not said a single thing about Eminem. Perfectly willing to tweet anything about, oh, oh, this guy's saying something about it. Well, when it comes to Eminem, he doesn't want to say shit. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump's been fucking quiet. So he's 100% correct. You ain't got the balls to go against me, you hide him. You know what I'm saying? Speaking the fucking facts, okay? Just speaking the fucking facts right there. Because you don't got the nuts like an empty asylum. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the Racism's fuck that means. Racism's the only thing he's fantastic for. Because that's how he gets his rocks off and he's orange. Nigga, when I first heard this fucking verse, I was like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I first heard that fucking verse, I didn't even know he was talking about. I mean, it's a, it's a clever ass rhyme scheme. This is why bitch ass niggas like Mark Dice, like, oh, oh, I can rap better than Eminem. Well, I mean, Nate, like, you, you're, not, you're not even able to make a... Great, amazing fucking rhyme scheme like that. Oh, so he says, racism, okay, which I disagree with. By the way, get that shit out the fucking way. I don't think that Trump is racist, okay? I just think he's selfish and he only cares about himself and he doesn't care about the country. You know what I'm saying? And he kind of like gives white people a little bit of a pass, you know what I'm saying? Gives them a little bit of pass for white supremacy or anything like that. I know you little fucking, you know, snowflakes and the fucking right wings are going to get offended when I say that. But he gives them a pass. Whenever it's radical Islamic extremism, perfectly willing to go tweet about it. But oh, whenever it's fucking, you know, white supremacy, three days, barely done a press conference, never says on Twitter. How can you not see the fucking double standard? So... Um, I don't think Trump is actually a racist, but that rhyme scheme, though, that was fucking dope, okay? Uh, he said, <clears throat> is the only, racism is the only thing he's fantastic for, because that's how he gets his rocks on off as the orange. And I saw, like, this LeBron James tweet of, like, some fucking, I don't even know what the fuck that nigga's name is from a damn, from a damn, uh, movie or some shit. Maybe Superman or some shit, I don't, I don't fucking know. And rocks off and he's orange, that was from Fantastic Four. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn. Like, I don't even, I don't even fucking know that shit when I first heard it. So, amazing fucking Ryan scheme. Fantastic for this. How he gets his rocks off and his, I didn't, I didn't fucking know. Yeah, sick tan. That's why he wants us to disband because he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells, I came to stomp. That's why he keeps screaming, drain the swamp because he's in quicksand. See, nigga, that is just amazing, okay? That is, like, that, that, look, that's gotta be the best fucking line in the entire goddamn, um, <clears throat> on the entire fucking freestyle, okay? Walking on eggshells, I came to stump. That's why he says drain the swamp, because he's in quicksand. That's what I agree with the fucking most. Just amazing fucking rhyme scheme. Ama that's gotta be, like, the best fucking line of the entire goddamn time. And, I mean, I mean, whatever the fuck he said before, I don't know if I necessarily agree with it, but... Walking on eggshells, I came to stump, okay? I don't necessarily know if uh, Trump is worried, if we're scared of him or not. I, I, I'm not really fucking sure about that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but he's probably not. He's probably in it just for his own fucking ego or some shit. It's like we take a step forwards, then backwards. But this is his form of distraction. Yes, I agree. I agree. Okay, I agree 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I agree 100%. I mean, why else is he fucking tweeting about the NFL like 20 times in a row? He's trying to distract people. There was this one time where, um, what the fuck, white supremacy happened and he was under a lot of heat from the fucking media. Then he does an entire fucking rally in Phoenix just about himself. Just to defend himself. Oh, yeah, but he cares about this country. Get the fuck out of here with that goddamn shit. But he does an entire speech. He does an entire fucking rally just about himself. It's like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Like, wh like, why the fuck are you doing it all by yourself? It's because he's trying to distract people from the fact that he uh, gives sort of a pass for white supremacy because it took him just three days just to even say the term. 
You know what I'm saying? So whenever something, whenever he's under here, when other people are criticizing him, that's when he turns into bitch mode. And then he kind of like tries to distract people, try to get people to focus on every, and everything else. Same thing he did with the NFL again when that motherfucker, um, <clears throat> Puerto Rico, he didn't do anything for the, for the fucking uh, uh, hurricane in Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? So instead, he wants to do all these fucking tweets about uh, um, NFL, and then he wants to, you know, complain about people saying mean things that are mayors of Puerto Rico. You know what I'm saying? That could be a form of distraction, but it's mainly him trying to defend himself because he has such a big fucking ego, and it's really a really fragile ego. So I agree with Eminem on that point. Plus, he gets an enormous reaction when he attacks the NFL, so we focus on that and instead of talking Puerto Rico with gun reform for Nevada. See, exactly. See what, I mean, I mean, just speaking the goddamn fact, even though, even though I don't necessarily agree with gun reform Nevada, I mean, I made a fucking video, it's deleted now, but, you know, I mean, I made a fucking video a long time ago about gun control, I don't believe in that bullshit, so gun reform, also Hillary Clinton, fuck you, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, trying to politicize, fuck everybody, I mean, I, I, I have the video downloaded, I still have a video, um, you know, up about the whole thing that happened in Nevada and everything, like, some goddamn bullshit how everyone's trying to politicize it, you know, and Hillary Clinton trying to politicize gun control, and it appears Eminem is supporting gun control, but M but Donald Trump, of course, tried to fucking ignore it and everything, complaining about the NFL, because he only cares about his own ego. I mean, people are like, oh, me niggas are fucking dying in fucking shootings, even though I think it could be a hoax, but people are fucking dying in fucking shootings, you know what I'm saying? And people are dying in fucking hurricanes, and they're in serious danger, can't even see their fucking families, but he's too busy worried about people protesting against them simply by just kneeling during a national anthem and, he, and you're telling me he cares about this country get the fuck out of that goddamn shit so i agree with eminem on that but not with the gun reform because i don't believe in gun control fuck that shit all these horrible tragedies and these border would rather cause a twitter storm with the past See, that that fucking rhyme screen got to be like one of the most factual shit he said you know what i'm saying got to be like the most factual shit he said can somebody like the line that just happened where he was talking about gun reform okay maybe you can disagree with the gun reform thing but other than that what what how is eminem wrong that's like probably like the biggest fucking fact he spoke in the entire freestyle tell me how he's wrong he ain't then says he wants to lower our taxes then who's going to pay for his extravagant trips? Oh, by the way, there's no way a fuck uh, Donald Trump's going to lower taxes. With that fucking health care plan? With that health care plan that only helps the rich and is fucking up the middle class. You know what I'm saying? Stripping millions of fucking Americans out of fucking health care. But, oh, it's going to help our tax. He's not going to lower shit. He's just trying to help his little fucking rich motherfucker, even though he can't get any fucking health care bill he wants passed because the Republicans keep on blocking his shit, but still, he doesn't give a fuck about the country, and he's not going to do anything to lower taxes and be hampered, and the fact that you're using excuses for his war of a reason why he's pathetic. Anyways, so he's not going to lower taxes, you know what I'm saying? He goes to the golf course every fucking weekend and not doing shit, you know, not doing anything else. And Back also and with his family tweet. to his golf resorts and his mansions, same shit that he tormented Hillary for and he slandered, then does it more from his endorsement of Bannon, support for the Klansmen, Tiki torches. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily know if this nigga, if, if Donald Trump support, supported, outright supported the Klansmen, you know what I'm saying? Of course he wants to brush it off and, you know, you know, not mention it or anything like that and not denouncing the fucking Ku, Ku Klux Klan, the KKK, and endorsement of Bannon and he's racist or whatever, like, and then you got the right wing trying to defend him. You, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if Steve Bannon is a racist Nazi or not. Regardless if he's racist or not, if it's a white racist and it's in the political sphere with the left versus right, then the right is going to defend them. You know what I'm saying? Because rights, right wing motherfuckers defend white racism to its fucking core. They only like to focus on left wing racism, not right wing racism. So regardless if Bannon, I mean, I mean, I kind of find kind of find it kind of fucking weird how he wants to, you know, excuse all this white supremacy bullshit and not really mention it and not really mention the Ku Klux, Ku Klux Klan and endorsing Donald Trump and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he doesn't say anything. He doesn't denounce it. He doesn't say anything on Twitter, but it doesn't necessarily mean he supports it, you know, but I think Eminem is just saying that for the fucking rhyme. And Steve Bannon, like, why the fuck did you even consider it? hand for the soldier that's plackin', comes home from Iraq and is still told to go back to Africa, forking a dagger in this racist 94-year-old grandpa. God damn. See, that's fire. That, like, that is fucking fire, my nigga, but my nigga. Okay, I don't know if, uh, I don't really know about the motherfucker that, you know, was told to go back to Africa. I mean, I don't, 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really fucking know about that shit. But if there was some bullshit, then I'll take it to consideration. But anyways, um, that's that's all I gotta say about that fucking ride. But the fucking amazing, okay, racist ninety four year old grandpa. See, I can understand where people are coming from when they're called when they call Trump racist. I just personally don't think he's racist. I just think that he is. He just doesn't give a fuck about anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, I prefer white people. No, he doesn't give a fuck about any of us. You know, so I don't necessarily agree that he's racist. But racist 94-year-old grandpa. <laughs> you know, that reminds me of uh, 83-year-old fake Pacino. You know what I'm saying? Or nail in a coffin. That's some dope-ass shit. Who keeps ignoring our past historical deplorable factors. Yep, I, I mean, I, I guess you can say I can, I can agree with that. <laughs> <clears throat> Now if you're a black athlete, you're a spoiled little brat for trying to use your platform or your stature to try to give those a voice who don't have one. See, this is the this is the fucking line that I, that really hit me the most on the entire fucking song. I mean, not song, I mean the fucking freestyle. The entire freestyle, this one hit me the most because I always thought like in the Colin Kaepernick thing, I was just like Colin Kaepernick is just an oppressed fucking, uh, you know, oppressed by his own words, which I still agree with. You know what I'm saying? I still agree with, but when I first heard this shit, maybe I have second thoughts about whether I agree with him or not, but when I first heard this shit, talking about when I first heard, when I first heard this goddamn shit, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I was like, God damn, but I disagree with Eminem on this goddamn, uh, on this damn thing, because he says, uh, gives a voice for those who don't have one. Like, who doesn't have a voice anymore? You know? Like, I'm just a random ass nigga on the internet, and I have a fucking voice. Yeah, got thousands of motherfuckers viewing my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody has a voice. You have Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And if, if somebody truly doesn't have a voice, some random people on Twitter can have a voice for them. You know what I'm saying? So you don't need to kneel during the national anthem just to say that you don't like Trump because nobody likes Trump except for his dumbass supporters. You know what I'm saying? So people do have a voice. Like, who, who doesn't have a fucking voice? Everyone has a fucking voice unless you're too poor to afford a camera or something. I don't know. But it was still a good uh, rhyme scheme. It really made you think. You know what I'm saying? If you have a differing opinion, it still made you fucking think. He says you're spitting in the face of vets who fought for us, you bastards. Mm -hmm. Unless you're a POW who's tortured and battered because to him you're zeros because he don't like his war heroes captured. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with this whole John McCain thing with Trump, I'm not fucking sure. You know, I don't know. I don't know why. I didn't ever really pay attention to it. But... You know, like, why the fuck did he not give a, like, why did he, you know, not say anything? <laughs> he just like, oh, I don't like my world warriors captured. You know what I'm saying? Well, he's still a fucking warrior. I mean, he was still in the fucking war. Like, it, it, does, it doesn't even make any goddamn sense. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really make any goddamn sense. I don't know why the fuck he was talking shit about John McCain for that. But, I mean, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. People fuck up. Including you, Donald Trump, who's been fucking up for nine months already. You know what I'm saying? So, so by that logic, by that logic, I should denounce him the same way he's denouncing John McCain. You know what I'm saying? But oh, Trump supporters don't don't even don't even try to come up with a logical argument with Trump supporters or any from the from the right or the left that matter. You know what I'm saying? Because they're just filled with emotional fucking bullshit. That's not disrespecting the military. Yep. Yeah, it is, nigga. And then you know, <clears throat> you know that little uh, transgender ban. I don't know why the fuck he did that shit. That. This is for Colin. Ball up a fist. And keep that shit ball. Like Donald the bitch. Oh, I'm not gonna ball my fucking fist up, but okay. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with balling up a fist. Like, what the fuck is this gonna do? Nothing. It's just a fucking fist, you know? But whatever. He's gonna get rid of all immigrants. He's gonna build that thing up taller than me. Okay, this gotta be the most corny part of the fucking freestyle. He's trying to imitate, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to imitate... White, hillbilly, redneck fucking Trump supporters. Corny as fuck in my opinion, but I don't really give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But what he said after this was fucking dope. Yes. Well, if he does build it, I hope it's rock solid with bricks. Because like him in politics, I'm using all of his tricks. See, this is the, like, this is exactly, this line right here is exact, was his exact fucking intent for the entire goddamn freestyle and stupid ass motherfucker, 100,000 dislikes on the original video. Are you stupid? You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, like that was his actual intent the entire fucking time was to use the same exact tricks that Donald Trump did to get people's attention. That's exactly, I explained it perfectly in my latest, in my latest motherfucking video. You know what I'm saying? He's using the exact same fucking tr tactics, but whenever Eminem uses the tactics, it, it, oh, oh, he's it's, it's, it's a bad person for using those tactics. Whenever Donald Trump uses the same tactics, oh, it's okay. 
You know what I'm saying? See the fucking double standard, see the hypocrisy? But as I said before, do not create a logical argument against anybody from the left wing or the right wing because they're full of emotional idiots. Now, that was just an amazing fucking line, and it's another one of those subliminals and, you know, just testing how stupid society is. And Eminem is here just for the controversy and to piss people off. Because I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it sticks. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll fuck with that. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his. See, th look. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, this is where, you know, it gets a little fucking hypocritical, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Of course, people are going to come up with an excuse because a lot of the Eminem fans come up with excuses for every little thing he does. But this is like, it, at this point, it's like, what the fuck? But. I'm drawing in the sand a line. You're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. God damn, nigga. What a way, like, see, look, that part, that part is one that I actually disagree with, my nigga, because it's, a, it's one, it's disrespecting some of his fans. Two, it's being hypocritical as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's being hypocritical as fuck. So hypo the hypocrisy of it is that he wants to talk about, oh, Trump is dividing the country, dividing the nation. But at the same time, Eminem is trying to divide his own fan base, whether that they like somebody or not. Oh, wow. And then, and then they were like, oh, well, Trump is the division. Okay, doesn't matter. You're still trying to divide the fan base. You know what I'm saying? There's like some blind hypocrisy in that. And it's also like if you're an Eminem fan and you happen to be a Trump supporter, then fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck you. You're like, what the fuck? Like, like God damn, this point where I was an Eminem fan and a Trump supporter. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so, so that part doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, you know, in my personal opinion, if I was Eminem, I would be like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I really don't give a fuck if you're a supporter of me or not. Just, um... Fuck Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? If you disagree, then oh well. You know, everyone disagrees. So he's basically saying he doesn't want any fans that are Trump supporters or people who can't decide whether they like Trump more or Eminem more. And he's basically saying, fuck you. Don't be on my side then. Now, uh, I mean, I really doubt Eminem hates Trump that bad because I don't think he even hates Trump. He's just doing it for, you know, controversial reasons. He did it with George. Do you think Eminem really hated George Bush? Like there is a line where Eminem said like, oh, Oh, I, I don't rap for dead presidents. I'd rather see the president dead had never been said, but I set precedents. He said that when Bush was president, you know? So it's like, nigga, like, like nigga, you really, you really hate fucking George Bush that bad? No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? So I, this, that's the point where, you know, when I first heard it, I was low, I was like very low key was like, is this nigga really, you know, like, you know, is, is he like betraying some of his fucking fans? You know what I'm saying? He's being two faced. And he's too busy focused on hating Donald Trump and the anti-Trump movement more than focused on, you know, his actual fans that helped him. You know what I'm saying? Sell all those goddamn records. The number one selling hip-hop artist of all time. You're telling me he's just going to, you know, diss the Trump supporters of that? I don't necessarily, you know, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that. But who really gives a fuck anyways? You know what I'm saying? Most Eminem fans be like, oh, he said mean things about Trump. So now I can't be, a f I'm, I must not, I must be a Trump hater. You know what I'm saying? This goes well for any other celebrity. So I don't think anybody gives a fuck. And even if I was a Trump supporter still, I wouldn't really give a fuck. The rest of America stand up. See, rest of America stand up. He's like pushing over his Eminem fans and it's just focused on America. And fuck the, um, fuck my fans that are Trump supporters. That's kind of like, nigga, are you selling out or something? You know? We love our military. Mm -hmm. And we love our country, but we hate Trump. Hell yeah, nigga. Nah, I'm just playing. <clears throat> okay, perfect fucking ending. Okay, let me let me take off my goddamn shit. Take off this motherfucking shit, you know. But perfect motherfucking ending to that shit. We hate Trump and everything. But tell me what you think in the comment section. It's gonna be a long ass goddamn fucking editing shit. Long ass fucking you know video or whatever. But whatever, my nigga. Anyways. It's your boy, the Sauce Man X. Tell me what you think in the comment section. This guy, that I know a bunch of dislikes gonna come in because of them little bitch ass beast hype Trump supporters and everything that I'm going to, you know, you know, put in the damn comment section. But I gave my fucking opinion. As you see, I didn't agree with every little thing that Eminem said. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and just be a blind supporter of Donald Trump or anything like that. So tell me what you think in the comment section. Get this video a lot of fucking views, share it, like it, subscribe to my goddamn channel for more political, I'm not really making political videos, but for more, you know, hip-hop videos or Eminem videos or NBA videos, subscribe to my fucking channel, anyways, man, I know most people are gonna dislike this goddamn video and everything like that, but anyways, you put a sauce, man, this shit gonna fucking nerd